All right, everybody, we have my friend and yours, Officer Paul Tapal with the Guam Police Department in studio. And Officer Tapal, welcome back because you are going to give us an update on how the Neighborhood Watch program is going. It's been implemented for several weeks now. Mm -hmm. So how are things? Well, it's some months now and everything in its working stage. Um, we're, we're actually uh, picking up steam. We've been hitting the villages. We've been campaigning, uh, canvassing. We've been encouraging the, the com uh, community to come out, express their concerns. Um, we stress that this is a community-centric um, initiative and we encourage the community to come take active so we're moving uh, within villages we just finished Dededu canvassing Dededu um, the Machinana the Santa Ana we had a very successful town hall meeting mm -hmm. great feedback great support and we're looking forward to coming to the next village which is going to be Santa Rita so we, you and I were talking earlier and they said basically there's, there's three points to consider there's how many people are actually coming out to the presentations how many people actually sign up and mm -hmm. get actively involved and then three the percentage by which crime is driven down. Yeah, it I, sounds like it's successful on all three fronts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, people gauge success based on numbers. And we like to, you know, of course, data collection and everything. And the main philosophy, the driving philosophy behind the Neighborhood Watch program, it's one house, one street, one village at a time. And that's the concept that we're going by. If we can get one house to make a difference, one house to come out and say, I want to be the person that's going to take charge of my neighborhood, I'm going to recruit my four corners aspect. I'm going to recruit the person down the street. You're going to see it spread because now you're going to see that re they're re-engaging back into the community. They're reacquainting themselves with their neighbors. And that's the most important thing that we want to stress. The program is simple. Neighbors looking after neighbors. Mm -hmm. And I would, help, I would think that that would greatly help your recruiting effort because, you know, you guys can come in mm -hmm. as, as the law, basically, mm -hmm. but then you've got neighbors who have probably lived next to each other for many, many years. They've already got that trust relationship, mm -hmm. and it makes, you know, it makes involvement that much easier. Yeah, it, it, it does, because now we've brought the community, or I want to say we brought the Guam Police Department back into the community, mm -hmm. because now they were starting to see that the community is getting involved. The Guam Police Department is helping. Um, the Office of the Lieutenant Governor is helping. The mayor's council, the respective mayor's within the particular village is providing the support. We're giving the support. We're not driving anything. It's the community that drives the, the, the program. Okay, and you said Dedido just got covered, so that is the most populous village on the island. You started with Mingilao. Uh, where are you going next? Um, we're going to be down at Santa Rita. The, the thing that challenges Dedido is because of its size. We've actually covered the Machinada and the Santa Ana, Santa Ana area, but we're going to be moving within the Dedido area. It's going to take some time, but we're going to accomplish it. Outstanding. Okay, what's this week's crime of the week? Uh, this week's, unfortunately, is a breaking that happened at the Barragata Mayor's office. All right, let's find out how you can help. On Friday, the 2nd of October, our officers from the Hagania Precinct Command entertained a burglary complaint that occurred at the Barragata Mayor's office. Now, according to the police report, the office was secured by the mayor staff on Thursday, the 1st, at around 5.30 in the evening, and was left unattended. When staff officials arrived the following day, they noticed that the mayor's office glass door was completely shattered. An assessment was then conducted by staff members where it was noted that the office desk and drawers had been tampered with and appeared to have been rummaged through. An exterior check was made where it was also discovered that the point of entry into the office was through the back door which appeared to be pried open. The Guam Crime Stoppers is asking your help relative to this burglary complaint that occurred. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. TLP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. All right, so real quick, Paul, before we go, um, is there a number where people can call or a Facebook page where they can find out more information about Neighborhood Watch? Yeah, it's uh, N <clears throat> excuse me, nwp.guam.gov. Uh, visit the web page or call your mayor's office. Call your mayor's office and inquire how they can actually get a Neighborhood Watch started. If they're ready to go, um, we usually come out and we do the nuts and bolts aspect. Or, you know, um, just give a chime into your mayor's office, tell them that you're interested in they'll give us a call. All right, thanks so much, and we look forward to seeing you in all the neighborhoods real soon. Uh, thank you for having us again. All right, everybody. Officer Paul